Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey y'all, let's just get right into this celebrity gossip and news. We have Erica Mena crashing out again and trying to play victim as usual. But the difference this time is Safari is not having it. He has come out on his YouTube channel, tired of Erica's mess and wanted to what I call dot his I's and cross his T's. I'm going to show some highlights of Erica Mena in rare form in front of the children, hidden safari, breaking things in his home, and all this, y'all, right in front of the babies. I have to say, especially when it comes to Erica Mena, trigger warning, because seeing her behavior in front of these babies says a lot to me. Take a listen, and I'll come right back. I don't even I don't even know where to start. Um but I'm I'm putting everything out there because <laughs> the fact that people even whether you know me or not, you still there still has to be like a certain level of of common sense when it comes to just being a judge of character. And this has nothing to do with TV at all, none of that. Like this is this is real life because kids are involved, and this deadbeat narrative. It's like it's just it's just so jarring to me. It it does give me a headache sometimes, but then you know. Um, I'm pretty good at just brushing things off, but, you know, people who know me and especially know my situation, <clears throat> they're like, yo, how long are you going to stay quiet? And I just, you know, I be, I be sparing people. And then at the same time, it's like, yo, it's nobody's business, but I feel like everybody just feels like, they know my business, and if it's reported, it's news, and that it's the truth, and it's real, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that, you know, there's some men out there who can relate to this, and um, when it comes to being a, a father in a co-parenting situation where somebody wants to have full control of every single thing and they can't have control, it, it's just not going to be a, a easy transition, you know, especially when, you know, the, the, the um, other person is just used to it being one way or very controlling or still wanting the whole family dynamic and it's not there anymore. But I love my kids. And it's gotten to the point that I, I have to put myself first because I'm either going to end up in jail or worse because I'm dealing with someone who is just, whose anger management is just non-existent. When I first moved to Florida, I remember... I got a two bedroom condo and the first time I had my kids come over there after my divorce and I started the whole, okay, visitation, we and having my kids for the days I was having them. When my kids first came over in my condo, it made me so depressed because I was like, yo, they just, I felt like they were so confined and I didn't feel good about it. And I said, yo, I gotta get a house. I need a house. I can't have my kids running around in this condo and, and, and hurting themselves and just, it just not being a, a fit to raise, you know, two children in a co-parenting setup. And I found my house. 
And I'm gonna just, I'm gonna be all the way blunt and straight up with it. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I, I got this house because of my kids. I got this house for my kids. Seeing my kids be here running around, it's the best feeling, you know? You know, when you have children with somebody who, at the end of the day, it, it shouldn't even have happened because I should have just noticed certain things when it came to parenting. You know, when you, you're with someone for three years and they have a child and you probably saw the child three to four times because the child was put off to go live with somebody else. And, you know, you don't, you kind of, look past it when you don't have kids or you're not thinking about that. I never even like was like, yo, why doesn't your son live here? And then when you finally get to have a conversation with the son and find out why, it's, it's crazy. You know, imagine speaking to a child who's of age and knows what's going on. He's 16 years old. And he says, if I ever had to live with my mother, I would myself. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't make that up. Like, I'm not gonna subject myself to that. My kids have never, ever seen me upset. My kids have never heard me yell. argue that's just not in me you know I've taken my kids to Jamaica if I was such a bad parent n nobody's gonna let a man take the kids to Jamaica by myself I didn't have no help and I don't want a biscuit for it I did it you know it just it just creates such a level of toxicity that it's better to just be like you know what I'm gonna deal with this through the courts and when this thing gets sorted out how it's supposed to be sorted out then Okay, we'll figure it out. And, um, you know, the last, the last instant of when we had a transfer with the kids, it was, she called me and said, hey, I'm in the area. I could save you a trip. I could come pick the kids up. And um, I'm, I'm tired and I don't want to do the drive. And it was like really like early in the morning or whatever. So I'm like, all right, cool. I let her in, lay down in the kids room. One of the kids was in there, next to the kids was laying with me in my room. And when she gets up, she's like, she wants to have a conversation with me. I'm like, okay, let's talk. As soon as she starts talking, it's yelling, screaming, all of that. I said, yo, look, I'm not doing that. And if you can't talk to me normally in front of the kids, where the kids don't realize that we're having a discussion about something that, that we're not agreeing on, then I'm not having it. Oh, I don't give a half, blah, 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 all this yelling, whatever. So I'm like, okay, forget it. Just, you know, you here, pick them up, you can leave. And in my face, all of that, blah, 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 and all that. So I'm like, all right, you don't want to leave. I call the cops. I'm on the phone with the cops. I'm telling them, hey, you know, before this escalates, I would like police presence here because I want her to leave. Filming me calling the cops. Okay, I'm calling the cops here, filming me. You're the one with the anger management problem just going off, so break stuff up in the house, has the kids running over glass, breaking stuff up outside. <laughs> After that, I just was like, you know what? If I can't pick up my kids in a place that is like a drop-off point or a police precinct, I'm not picking them up because I'm not going to her house. 
ever again in life. My son's birthday party was like a month after that. No, like it was a while after that. And then when I went to the party, they said, hey, you want a restraining order, but um, you went to a party, she was there, so you, you must not be in that much fear. So I had to drop that case. And this is me having to have two different lawyers. So this is two separate lawyers, for, the, for, for one lawyer for that, then another lawyer for this whole family court thing. And next time I got them, it was for, you know, beginning of the summer. And I was like, yo, I'll keep the kids for the summer. Let me know. My mother and my sister's here. They love being around them. They want to be around them. That's the issue. I can't reach my daughter's iPad. Pickup situation isn't sorted out. So when I finally do get them, I sign them up for summer camp. She gets so mad at me for signing them up for summer camp. There's a summer camp by my house. She lives 40 minutes away from me. Summer camp, I'm like, cool, I got them. Let me at least do that. Cause you know, they were here and my mother was like, yo, you can't just be having them here playing, whatever, whatever. She was like, they need some, you know, structure. Sign them up for summer camp. I was like, you know what? That's a good idea. I signed them up for the summer camp. I paid for it. I paid $2,000 to put them in summer camp. They went to summer camp for three days. This woman texts a naked picture of me to my mother and my sister because she wanted to let them know that oh, you, you and your, your son, I'm pretty sure your son's not telling you what's really going on between us and all of this other nonsense. Okay, me and you are still, you know, having a relationship and that's over with. Thank God that's over with. Like, you know, I, I prayed about that and, and, and there's absolutely nothing physical going on anymore. And you taking naked pictures and sending it to my mother and my sister to do what and prove what? My mother and my sister are the most least problematic people on earth. My mother's not one of those mothers. She's not like a TV mother who's here acting rah rah and doing a bunch of ignorant nonsense. Like my mother is so calm and zen and anyone who knows my mother and my sister and what they do, like my sister and my mom, they are in the holistic field. They're very, everything about them is zen, herbs, teas, spiritual. And you're sending naked pictures of me to my mother and my sister. People who know me, my mouth has been quiet for years, years. I don't say nothing. This, this, it's just so draining, like everything about it. Like her, her, own, her own family is, is going after her for child support because she doesn't do anything to help her son. So then to try to make it seem like I'm some deadbeat and I'm not trying to be there for my kids, I would love to be there for my kids, but it would be nice for you to get out the way. Let me be a father. Let me take my kids and go wherever I want with them. My kids are never in danger. They don't ever have to worry about nothing. This is not about money. This is not about child support. My kids love me. Mommy, she was missing you. She was looking for you. I just want to say, like, you know, doing shit like this, this don't benefit me. This don't help me. Like, I don't like this kind of attention. That's why I usually never say anything. But this thing has been going on for so long that it's like, how much long am I going to let ish slide? You know, you know what I'm saying? But this ain't really about that. I'm just trying to have my, my time and my setup with my kids. I, my mother and my sister would love for me to bring them to New York and, and spend some time with them there. And it's just nothing, nothing is easy. Everything is a fight. And I don't fight, I don't argue, it's draining. I'm not, I don't, I don't, no, nope, I'm, I'm not doing it. So. When all this court stuff is said and done, it is what it is. This is, it's, this is not about child support. So this thing ain't about, it's not about money. It's, it's, it's way bigger than that. It's about let me be a father, stay out the way, and that's it. Stop trying to act like you don't care when you do care. Stop harassing my mother, stop harassing my sister. 
Stop harassing anyone that's close to me. And this is not to bash. This is just the truth. This is just what it is. So that narrative that everyone just thinks is so cool to run, like, you, you use common sense. If I haven't seen my kids, there is a reason. And that's the gist of that. But his storyline is much longer. He says some things. I just wanted to give the highlights of what he had to say. Y'all could go to his page and see the rest. It's about 40 minutes long. That's a hot dog on mess. You could see that she was yelling at them babies when she was busting up everything, leaving out the door, got them babies walking on glass and everything. That's That's sad. Hearing the things he had to say, if it's true, is extremely sad, but it explains a lot. Because y'all remember when Erica and Spice got into it, and Spice said to Erica, that's why your son hates you. What you were, mean? Because I feel you like your me. problem is, Erica, you feel like you're the first woman to be divorced. That's the problem. Really? I feel like you're acting like you're the first woman to be divorced, and you're the first woman that's left with two children mm -hmm. to fend for. I've been doing it for 14 years. Welcome to the club. Girl, I've been doing it for nowhere. 16. Okay? 16. Okay, with 16 your son that don't like you. My son loves me. How do you know my about son about son that? About that? Yeah, I'm always I'm making you know it about you. Mind. I always said nothing made sense that she never talked about her son. I mean, at all. It didn't matter that he didn't want to be on TV, you know, when she was yelling and screaming at that Spice. She just never talked about him, in my opinion. And only she only showed him that one time, and that was when her and Safari got married. Remember, Scrappy said something to her about her son when she was getting all up in him and being... Um, Bambi's business. Bam talks. What about your mother? Oh my God! Oh my God. No, you talking about my mama? Cause I tell you something about your yourself. Mother, your mother, your mother, freaking mother. Hey, girl, hold on, so hold on. So that's just what it is. Hey, what about your son? Girl? What about your son? What, what about, about my your son? son? What your about my son? son? You're like you, you know something. Cause I know so much about you. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Hey yeah, y'all remember that if y'all loving hip hop fans, I know it's all TV and we don't know the real life behind the scenes, but if it walks like a duck and quacks like a duck, damn it, it's a duck. And that poor baby crying and screaming she don't want to go to mommy's house, that broke my heart. 
Erica needs to stop doing whatever it is she's on because if this is how she acts, not being under the influence of anything, then she got some serious damn issues and those babies are not safe. And again, that's just my opinion. Safari might want to look into some custody. I don't know. What's your thoughts? Drop down in the comments. Let's have the conversation. Now let's get into Erica because y'all know she had to go live with her fake ass acting and save face pretending she's mother of the year doing it all by herself. She rambled on and on for about 15 or so minutes, but I'm only giving y'all the highlights, of course, because we don't like her over here. Well, I don't. I don't really care for Erica. You know, but anywho, take a listen. And don't forget to drop down in the comments. Let's chat. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you already have it. And smash that notification bell so y'all won't miss out on my next video. Stay blessed. Peace. I don't feel sorry for her. She chose him. Why would you feel sorry for me? Since I've gotten on the scene in my late teens, I've been able to make a name for myself and it's not because of who I dated or any type of affiliation. It's because of me, whether I've made mistakes not knowing any better at the time or whether I've accomplished things, like everything that is under Erica Mena came from me. And I gotta say, I've come a long way. Like music videos, like that era, you know reality tv now i'm doing movies like i've been able to do the damn thing and i'm about to have my own show that all came from me don't feel sorry for me i've been doing very well no need to feel sorry for me now if you want to feel the embarrassment that i might be feeling because i'm a human and if you're human i'm sure you know you can kind of understand where i'm going with that then yeah that's one thing human there's moments where we are embarrassed um if anything be embarrassed with me because <laughs> look what i've been dealing with and there's so much that honestly the world doesn't even know but anyway back to the comment i chose him do y'all forget i was chased for three years and i wasn't budging like mofo had to go through my friends and my family just to get me to reply in a text let alone give him any type of chance this individual was actually doing this whole pr rant claiming he wanted to be married and have kids so i was seeing the outside actions he was projecting and then i was engaging in the chance I was giving and oh boy did he come hard so it kind of matched you know and I was like you know what anywho the chance was given and life took its course before you knew it he was popping the question and because this person went so hard it was like hard not to believe you know anywho this is another comment that I kind of have to address. Well, you gave him a second baby. Okay. Let me get on that one. So I absolutely have to speak on this whole you gave him a second baby thing. Let's just state facts real quick. With King, my firstborn son, I had no idea I was pregnant until five months. I was getting my period, no symptoms at all. And yeah. Five months pregnant, had no idea. Years later, I get pregnant with Legend. Now granted, yes, me and him were having issues, you know, after me having Sapphire, but we were still married and we were still going through that roller coaster of trying to fix our marriage. So with that process comes makeup a lot. Anywho, um, I went for my yearly checkup with Dr. Jackie and boy, can she vouch for this because I still to this day have this video. Um, I went for my annual checkup and I was flat, no, no stomach, no symptoms. I was, I actually just finished my period and I go for my, so I go for my checkup, Dr. Jackie, pulling you in for this one. 
because this was actually a, a, a very memorable day, I'm sure, for both of us. Anywho, she walks in, um, because I definitely in that cup, which came up positive, obviously, for pregnancy. Behind her comes this monitor to, uh, check my belly. And I was thrown off, but anywho, she asked me if I wanted to know the good news or the bad news. And of course, I wanted the good news, and that's when she broke it to me. You're pregnant. And you're months and months and months pregnant. No way. I just had my kid. Boy, did she put that monitor on my stomach and legend was there, full face, hand. I still have the video. He was grown. So to clarify me hiding pregnancy, when I found out, a week later he found out. So it wasn't hiding. So yeah, I didn't go all that time hiding that I was pregnant on purpose I didn't even know I was pregnant literally had no idea so as far as me giving him a second baby no God gave me a second baby which actually is my third baby but anyway don't feel sorry for me I made it through postpartum heartbreak and you know all he has to do is go to the school and pick them up never has to make contact with me but chooses not to because apparently the school he helped me picked out by the way is too far for him to to come drive mind you everything in florida is about 30 minutes away but that's too far but anyway that's a whole nother topic um yeah i can't complain though honestly us us women we get we, we make it work man <laughs> if I ain't got child care, those, those kids are definitely on set with me. And if you follow me, you know I don't, I don't, I don't play. If I got to have my kids on set shooting movies with me, they are with me. Like nothing has stopped this motion. The world is still going to go around while he, you know, dances. And, um, you know, takes care of another man's children by lacing them with Rolexes <laughs> but misses out because I know this individual so well I guess apparently now they have like a YouTube or something how much you want to bet it's gonna try to do a whole YouTube <laughs> to give his pathetic reasons on why and if and dope and and with his mama rooting for him in the back. I have a feeling that's why these antics are kind of partaking right now as we speak.